mechanical advantage systems are used in lieu of having enough people to pull on a line to build up enough force to pull off an object which is stuck against a rock. Sometimes we find ourselves in the unfortunate situation that a boat gets pinned or wrapped. In the event that that happens, our first priority is always to our people first and then our equipment second. Once we've assured the security of all the people at the scene, what we can now do is start focusing on how we're going to try to retrieve our boat. We want to try to keep this simple. Before we start pulling or pushing or prodding on the boat to see whether we can push it free, what we should first do is attach a retrieval line to the craft. That way, in the event that we are successful in pushing it off, that we'll actually be able to corral it into shore as opposed to losing it to further downstream. We should try pulling from a couple of different locations. That way we get the angle just right and perhaps it will pop off on its own. In the event that we don't have enough force to pull the boat off, we can add more force by adding more pullers. And in lieu of having more pullers, we can set up a simple mechanical advantage system. The mechanical advantage system is a simple three to one mechanical advantage system finishing with a change in direction. We believe that this is the most basic form of mechanical advantage, and probably the one which is most commonly used. So here's how we set up our simple three to one mechanical advantage system. We'll start off affixing to our load what we're trying to move. On our load end, we're gonna put a multi-point anchor, ideally using a minimum of two points. From here, we'll extend our line back to shore, and on shore, we'll build an anchor. From this anchor, we're gonna clip in a Presic, or a progress capture device. Behind that, we'll have a pulley, which is gonna change our direction, then head back out towards our load. We'll put another Presic on the line, another pulley, and then be able to turn the line to pull back towards our anchor. In the past, we would normally finish our system here, but instead what we've discovered, we're best to come back to our anchor point, put in one more pulley and change the direction, so that in the event that while we're pulling, something were to break on our load or break on our pressing, that nothing comes back and hits us as rescuers. When we look at a content of a pin kit, we suggest four carabiners, three pulleys, two pressics, one piece of webbing. If I have mine, you have yours, and our other paddling partner has theirs, we have a sufficient amount of equipment that in the event that my equipment is buried in my boat, which is entrapped, that we can still use the other people's equipment to be able to retrieve my boat. Generally, we're better to add more pullers than we are to add a mechanical advantage system. But sometimes we find ourselves in a very small boating party. We don't have more people to put on the line to pull. So, having the skills and the equipment available to build a simple three to one can be very advantageous for us in the event that we're in a position that we need to build more force in lieu of having enough pullers. Remember, when a pin or wrap occurs, priority goes to rescuing people over equipment. Once everyone is safe, first try and pull or push the boat free while affixed to a retrieval line. If this option fails, Set up a simple 3 to 1 mechanical advantage system. Getting to learn mechanical advantage systems takes practice. For a detailed waterproof Z-Drag crib sheet, visit nrsweb.com. The American Canoe Association, specializing in rescue training courses. Accommodations while shooting this video were provided by Esprit Rafting. Rescue gear provided by NRS and Astral. To purchase any of the products that you've seen in this video, visit ottawapaddleshack.ca.